Each year since 1923, the storied academies of Kingston's Royal Military College and New York's West Point face off in the longest running international hockey series, with the Americans holding the edge 42-29. But they play for pride, not points. For Army, it was always RMC. As a family, every year, we would, we would circle the calendar date when, when Army played RMC. Physically, they're very gifted always. They don't take a shift off. The stereotypes you hear about them are true. They work, they're physical, they play hard, they play clean. We always know when the RMC game's coming up. It's a really special rivalry. The intensity of the games is another level. Yeah, definitely, it's more physical. We're more there, the moral is higher. Uh, you want to prove yourself, but also you want to prove that your, uh, your academy, your teammate, everyone as a team, as a family, were stronger than them. So you kind of feel that, that pressure that you represent something bigger. These A's go on our uh, black jacket, and the, the gold leaf was, uh, signifies that we uh, have been RMC. So definitely a lot of pride on this guy right here. They push uh, your limit not stop. When you think you're at uh, really your limit, no, it's not. Your limit, it's more than the limit you thought it was. For Coach Brian Riley, the rich history of this rivalry has deep family ties. He grew up watching his father, the great Jack Riley, coach Army for over 35 years. My dad was a fierce competitor, and uh, anybody that knows him or played for him, um, and certainly I think some of the folks at RMC uh, would, would, would talk about what a competitor that, that Jack Riley was, hated to lose. But these games are about so much more than hockey. The bonds these young men form here will be carried with them into the theater of war. It's based on something different than sheer competition. So, you know, it's not just about winning and losing, it's about shared experience, shared lives, potential people who are gonna fight together. When the game ends, as much as both teams wanna win, and as a coach, I can stand there and see both teams at center ice getting a picture together, ultimately realizing that, you know what, these guys are on the same team. And at some point in time, they could find themselves sitting at a desk across from each other in Afghanistan or some far off place and be able to draw back on an Army RMC game. At the end of the day, we're on the same team, you know. Um, we're all trying to try to do the right thing for, uh, for our countries. It's a special uh, moment. And after it's over, it's done, we're like a family. After we're shaking hands, and it's like this is probably one of your friends who's gonna fight with you at the end. 